Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. Excuse me. The lobby seems pretty busy. Is everything okay? Residents have been asked to temporarily vacate their units while Sable International performs a security sweep. never survive this. Next election will get destroyed. There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. How come Osborne never has to vacate his apartment for security sweeps? He's got some fancy new system installed. Ugh. Every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. That should do it. Jerry, get out of here. We got a situation. Oh, man. I can't breathe. Let me back up. Security upstairs. room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating, but please remember... Hello? Swear your way out of here. I know a few Sable agents who would okay. love to meet you. I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Control, I heard something. Running a sweet. Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room next to the Sable agent. Copy that control. We're five by five. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire it. Running a sweep. We'll report status. Stupid useless button. Hmm. Norman 
Ryan's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commencing. Please remain calm. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. The Fabulous Osborne Boys. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. What is this thing? Whoa. This mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Work order for keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. Norman bids his son farewell. Huh. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. Self-diagnostic complete. No faults found. Fire doors disengaged. <sighs> Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but... Was it July or August? Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. This room smells like... rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Norman locked up Harry's room, wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Look 
at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. A photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. City's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. Ugh. Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? Oh man, look at us. We used to be so carefree. I miss those days. Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Can't be for Harry, can it? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney. 
like his mom. Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Alpha team, stay alert. I heard something. Running a sweep. What was that? Alpha team, stay alert. Really use 
piece of coffee. July 18. Bingo. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis, optical camouflage? What the hell is he trying to create? What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Control, grid's clear. Repeat, grid's clear. Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. Harry and Emily's medical records. GR-27 was developed to treat them. Devil's Breath is a failed cure for Norman's own family. Norman Osborn, GR-27 research log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. Control. Status. Nothing to report. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. <sighs> Kinda make Dr. Strom. Isn't he a robotics expert? No movement from Dr. Van Adder. Must be out of the city. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Wherever the anti-serum is, he must have been too. No, I need to track Michaels. Van Adder is a dead end. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no idea they owned so much of New York. Commercial buildings. Wow. So many records facilities. Oscorp's going all in on defense research. Could really use a coffee. Sable troop deployments. <sighs> They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath Lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. No, I need to track Michaels. And this must be the C team. Good old Alpha team. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big Sable presence. Van Adder is a Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Wherever the anti serum is, he must have been too. Should check the patrol routes against Oscorp buildings. Good old Alpha team. Nope, that's just a Sable Patrol. No, a records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath Lab. Control, clear. Repeat. None of these patrols cross Dr. Michael's path. Nice, 
Got some overlap with Dr. Michael's path. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big sable presence. GR27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. They created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? Oh, no. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. the lab location and a lot more how far away are you two avenues over say the word and i'm there great keep the motor running control grid's clear repeat grid's clear
Checking his last position. Need to clear that balcony. Hey! <gasps> Boss, we got her. Pete, you here? I'm turning off lights now. Are you okay? We'll be in a few seconds. Northwest corner. You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. <laughs> 